This is a tutorial to show you how to change this image to the new video that Jack has given us. So we'll log into the dashboard and we go to Pages, Home, and Edit. And here is the SSL image. What I usually do when I'm going to replace something is I will first save the module in case for some reason I want to come back and put this back in. So I'll save it as a custom module, module added successfully, OK. And then I remove it. And then I'll add a new module, come down and select video. And we give it a name. And here's where the YouTube URL goes. The next segment of this video is important to you if you're setting yourself up as a business owner. If you look at this video on my website here, you'll see that here is the YouTube logo. And if I hover over it, the little message above it reads, Watch on YouTube. So when I click on that, so a visitor to... Consumers and web visitors are a visitor to my site would click on YouTube and they would come to my YouTube channel. And that's important because if you buy video from anywhere and you use the YouTube link instead of uploading it to your website and someone clicks on the link, they will go to the seller's YouTube channel, not to yours. So you want to follow these instructions if you're setting yourself up as a business owner. So what you'll do is you take your Gmail address and you go to youtube.com and click on sign in. You, this is all you need to do to create a YouTube channel is just click on sign in you choose email address or phone number, email address and password, next. Okay, so my new YouTube channel is now created. That's all that you need to do. And then you come to this little upload icon to the left of your image and click on upload. And you're going to upload as and put your name, create channel and then you can drop a video here and it will upload and then you go and edit all the details. So it's really simple to create your YouTube channel and it's valuable, useful to have if you are setting yourself up as a business owner. Another very important part of this process is when you download videos, PLR videos that you purchase from anywhere, you need to edit them in some form. If you just purchase them and upload them to YouTube and somebody else or dozens of other somebody else's have uploaded the same video, YouTube sees it as duplicate content and may remove it. So you want to add something, add seconds, remove seconds, put a little bit of music on the end, something to distinguish your video from every other video that's online. And I know you can't know whether 16 other people have added two seconds or what. So do something, add your information to the outro or to the intro of the video add your contact information, your URL, something to differentiate your video from every other video. So we go and log into our YouTube channel, my channel, and here is the video that has been uploaded to my channel. So I click on the video and come over and click on share and click on embed and you want to Go down the list under Embed Options. The first line reads, Show suggested videos when the video finishes. You don't want that, so you're going to uncheck that, close, and come back again and click Share and copy this link. Then you take this link back to your module, paste the link in. It's a YouTube link. Now, if you want to add thumbnail images for beginning and end, you can do so. Okay, you can also convert the video to WebM and I use 
this site a lot. It is video.online-convert.com convert hyphen to hyphen web m and I'll post that link in the in the video so what you're going to do is just choose the file that you're going to use and I've downloaded the video to my computer and it's already set to convert to web m and I'm just going to click on convert file and here it shows the progress and once it's finished processing it will immediately begin a download and you save it wherever you wish to. You then need to go back to your YouTube account and then upload and you can just select the video and upload. So I'll just add the description and the phone number and public and playlist and public We'll go back to basic information. It's still in the process of uploading. Okay, here it reads processing done and you click on publish and here is the link though I think this will probably also have the yeah see show suggested videos. You want to uncheck that and then come back to share and copy this link go back to your dashboard and here you're going to paste in the WebM URL and click on Save. Now we may need to add padding or margins top and bottom but we're just going to update now and see how it looks. Preview changes. Okay so here is the the video on your website and that wraps up this tutorial.